हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फोर बेयरिंग बैक बेयरिंग एंड इंक्लूडेड एंगल नाउ इफ द होल सर्कल बेयरिंग ऑफ लाइन इज मेजर्ड इन द फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन देन इट इज नोन एज फोर बेयरिंग जनरली इट इज मेजर्ड एट स्टार्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द लाइन now suppose that our traverse is moving like this that is ab bc in this direction so that is the forward direction now if whole circle bearing of line is measured in the forward direction from the start point of line then this bearing is known as four bearing which is represented by theta 1 here now if the whole circle bearing of line is measured in the backward direction that is in this direction like this then it is known as back bearing generally it is considered at the end point of line suppose that for line ab back bearing is measured at station b that is the end point of line ab so theta 2 is the back bearing of line ab which is shown here okay students now if this line is extended like this then this angle will be theta 1 which is the four bearing so we can write here as back bearing is equals to four bearing plus minus 180 degree now here plus sign is used when four bearing is less than 180 degree and negative sign is used when four bearing is greater than 180 degree that is the relation between back bearing and four bearing that is all about the four bearing and back bearing now we can move to the included angle now the angle between the two survey line that is this angle is known as the included angle so if line ab and bc is measured like this then this angle phi will be known as included angle that is all about the four bearing back bearing and included angle four bearing is always measured in the forward direction and from the start point of the line similarly back bearing is measured always in the backward direction and at the end point of the line and the angle between two survey line that is the interior angle is known as included angle that is all about this topic thank you very much students